Hi, my name is Aurélien Lecartier and I am a lead user success engineer with Edge Impulse. Our mission at Edge Impulse is to empower embedded developers to deploy machine learning application on tiny devices such as a WEI Plus from HiMax. Using cutting edge technologies, we provide an easy to use platform that covers a whole machine learning workflow from creating data sets training machine learning models up to the generation of an open source library to deploy on your target device. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the main features of our platform and show you how to create a low power image classification application using the HiMax WEI Plus board. Computer vision applies to a wide range of industries. As an example, the pharmaceutical industry can benefit from computer vision techniques on a production line by detecting defective packages or wrong labels of expensive medicines. In this example project, we have trained a machine learning model to detect defective labels on earplugs boxes. To create our dataset, we've connected devices to our Edge Impulse project. In our case, we've actually used the camera of our smartphone to create the data set as well as the HiMax WEI Plus board. But you can collect data in different ways. As you can see here, uh, you can collect any supported development board to your project, use your computer to capture images or audio from your webcam or microphone, or of course upload an existing data set that you may have. We have collected around 140 items in our training set, divided in four classes. One with pictures of earplugs. Another one with wrong items, which were basically, we took pictures of random products. Another class with mislabeled packages. And an empty class. As the HiMax board is already connected to my PC, I can also start recording new data directly from my device. Once we have created our data set, the next step is to design the impulse. But the impulse is usually a mix of processing blocks and learning blocks. In this case for the image, we have like a simple image block that just define if we want RGB or grayscale output features. But as you could see here, we support a lot of different pre-processing blocks depending on the type of project you are working on. We are using the transfer learning technique as a learning block, but you can also choose between a regular neural network Keras block or regression, depending on your project. As the HiMax board is a monochrome camera, we are using the grayscale color depth in our image block. And then we generate features that will be fed into our neural network. In the Feature Explorer, you can have a 3D view of the different features that have been generated for your classes. In the transfer learning block, we use a MobileNet V2 architecture. Depending on the flash and RAM available on your device, you may actually choose a smaller model that would fit better. Once you've selected the mobile net architecture, you can select the number of training cycles and the learning rate. Also, for image models, we provide data augmentation to improve accuracy and avoid overfitting of the neural network. Once the training has ended, you can check the performances of your neural network. After training our neural network, 
we also need to verify that our model is performing well on the test set. In this case, we've got an 88% accuracy, which is very similar to our training set performances. So we don't have any overfitting. Finally, we head to the deployment section to build our firmware. So in this section, you can actually choose between creating an open source library and integrate our SDK within your own application. Or if you want to go really quickly, you can directly build a firmware for one of the targets that we support. In this case, we select the HiMax WEI Plus. You can select some optimization and then we build the model. Once the build is over, just download the zip file and double click on the flashing script for your operating system. Once the firmware upload is completed, we can use the Edge Impulse CLI to start the inference on target. No internet connection is required at this point, as the model runs locally on the device. We can now verify that the predictions results are correct by pointing out the device to the different objects to classify. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing how easy it is to create a low-power image classification application. For more details about Edge Impulse, please visit us at edgeimpulse.com and sign up to start building your own machine learning projects. And now, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.